Okay, so since the public defender can't help me with this tow truck hearing thing, he said it's a civil matter. That means that legal aid will actually help me. They don't. Legal aid doesn't help with criminal matters, but to help with civil matters. So I'm gonna have to see what they can tell me. I want to file an extension, and uh, these sheriffs that have been emailing don't know the law very well. I want to file an extension. I mean, you find extension um, rules in statutes somewhere, I'm thinking. They get, they got all kinds of extensions for other things. So I'd like to find this six, find an extension that could work for me with this 10-day thing, because 10 days is really unreasonable as far as I'm concerned. People may say I'm free to go wherever I want to, but, you know, I still have the courthouse that I have to return back to in two months. I'm not exactly free to go wherever I want, okay, because I still have that focal point to return to as mandated by law, otherwise they're going to put a warrant out for me and that'll show up at any time a cop harasses me and they harass me a lot. I gotta say this legal aid, if this is even the right place to go to, is. It's not too far from the Flying Jays. <clears throat> and uh, I got Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday even, because Monday is a memorial day to wait. So I can't talk to them for like three days. You don't know, it's strange, you know, there's Memorial Day coming up. There is somebody, and there's probably more of them, who put Happy Memorial Day, they put a business, had a sign that said Happy Memorial Day. That's, I don't know if I should feel insulted or just maybe feel sorry for the business owner. I'm just a little confused how they misinterpret this. Uh, it's not a holiday, it's a Memorial Day. It's a difference. All right, so you can turn off of Mallard. Oh, uh, Mallard and on to Tyrell to get to the legal aid, which is in one of these weird buildings. It looks like there's a lot of attorney offices around here, Cantrell and Skinner. There's a lot of cleaning people here right now. There it is, legal aid, legal, IdahoLegalAid.org. Just over there looks kind of spacious inside so I want to be back here on Tuesday three days from now it's a nice long wait um, I was thinking either the legal aid or the legal uh, library I think legal aid would be my first choice maybe they could give me some good directive but uh, I want to focus on getting an extension on this 10-day thing, the sheriff said they they don't have the legal capacity to give to authorize extensions. They just they need to be cited some law, I think, because they can't do it themselves. Because it's, it's a part of the Idaho statute, and so you got to find another statute that talks about the extension law and how that works. I would describe this area as Northeast Boise. Okay. It's got a unique appearance to it. It's got a lot more like sprawl to it, I think, in the northeastern parts. You gotta be in the right areas to see the private parks shows a private park Lakewood residence only and they got this little playground area with a building next to it and some have this uh, water spout thing for their pond to really get the mosquitoes attention I saw a mosquito abatement guy dip some cup deep into a grate like in the street so street grates that go to the sewer oh there's some ducks over there 
and he pulled it out, pulled the cup out, and then poured the water on the road and said he saw mosquitoes in that water. Then he sprayed it a little bit. It's kind of concerning to me that he's spraying sewer water like that. Don't we drink that? Alright, well, uh, the past couple of days, my heart has been in good shape. That's just great. I think that the Boise pollution might be at reduced levels. I'm not sure, though. The rise in gas prices could be contributing to... Um, people driving a little bit less and when we're talking about the difference between almost two dollars to, to almost two dollars fifty cents now so hopefully you know I hope the gas prices go up a little more and keep, get people off the road if, if that's the problem so what's going on at the Albertson Stadium looks like they're in control of traffic Billboard says Puppies got my attention. Thought that was entertaining. Massages, snacks, and puppies. That's uh, that's a, a scientific formula for uh, finals week. So I really don't have anything to add to this vlog. Just riding around and looking at downtown again. Going through changes, small steps at a time. This is a pretty bicycle friendly lane here. And it's windy. I think it's been able to keep a cooler temperature because of the wind. It seems extra windy a lot. It's been that way for the past few days.
some kind of cosplay convention going on. All kind of weird outfits. People dressed up in weird outfits. I think it's after the farmer's market is done here.
Are you following me though? So the excitement is uh, the convention today downtown, but mostly with teenagers, like young, young kids.